What's up my fellow builders and creators of the Minecraft universe? This is Trigon here with another Minecraft YouTube video. And today we are doing another SpongeBob Minecraft tutorial. This tutorial has not been done before because I have checked. This is Blackjack's house. If you if you don't remember who Blackjack was, this is like SpongeBob's cousin. And he was scared to visit his house, and there was like a dog under there and stuff. And when he visited his house, he had to go in the basement, and then, because he thought his parents were in trouble, it turned out it was a getting out of jail party. Like that. So, I'm building that today. And if you don't know, I don't do interiors. So, you, like, it's not a hard interior to make anyway. Just put a, just make it scary looking. So, let me go ahead and show you the material materials that you will need. You will need dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slab, dark oak planks, um, you will need glass pane, you will need black concrete, also with some that aren't as need needed, you will need... Um, dark oak fence and you will need dark oak doors but uh, sorry there's so much dark oak but okay so I think we can go ahead and get started okay I'm back and I think we're gonna go ahead and get started so you add two blocks and then you put five more blocks behind that and then you want to stack up two blocks then another two blocks in front of it, then one block. You want to come over to and do that same process. And then after this one, you come over five blocks, two, three, four, five, actually six. Then you drop down on the sixth block. And then you put oak wood, no, dark oak wood slabs underneath this entire thing. So here we go. There we go. So then, once you have done that, you will need to bring this back by two, like this, and you need to fill it in because you know the floor. This is going to be like the porch on Blackjack's house, so you brought that back by two. Now, you're going to want to build the wall that's like right behind it so right that's right there and you're going to want to build that wall let me see okay so two three four I think just four high and then you want to go up a diagonal and like do uh over like an overhang for the porch i think you want to come out three blocks yeah three so just making sure you want to make sure it lines up with the edge of the porch it's there that's blackjack's house so far and then we add in like the stairs right here so you can get up and down the porch and then I'll just put slabs right there it doesn't matter what you put though so there we go with that now I'm gonna go ahead and get my fence out so on these two there's two you only doing this twice so on the corners you want to stack those up and you want to put a fence right there too okay so then on this on this corner same thing you want to stack it up all the way till it reaches the the roof so then we pretty much got the porch finished except for the glass so let me go ahead and get that in the first I'm, I'm not putting the door in yet but I'll have it ready so then you come over one from the door and you put for a four pane window pane window in like that like so I'll add the detail around the windows later on in the video I'm just gonna wait on that so 
Now we're going to go ahead and try to get the sides of this house done. So right here, I'm going to stack it. You stack it back 10 blocks. And then you stack it all the way up. Like this. There we go. So once, so you, once you do this side like that. We're pretty much going to do this exact, this exact same thing to the other side. As you see, I'm in my new SpongeBob world, where I'm going to be building the tutorials here and trying to build up my SpongeBob world. My next SpongeBob tutorial maybe is going to be Atlantis, like from Atlantis Square Panis that episode. I'm probably going to be, I might, I might build that one next, and that one will have an interior. <coughs> Sorry, that might be the only building in that I do in SpongeBob that has an interior. If y'all want me to go back and make interiors for these though, like if y'all seriously like need an interior for it, then I can y'all can tell me and I can make one real quick. I will have to make an interior for this later on because this SpongeBob world has to have interiors. So. If you want me to do a tutorial while I'm making the interior, then uh, I won't have a problem with that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Oh, on the, on the, right now, you just can you bring them out two more. So technically, you bring out each wall by two because I didn't make it wide enough. And you just stack it all the way up from the back. And then that's pretty much done right there. So now we're doing the most the most difficult part of this whole build, but it's not real. It's not that too difficult. It's probably the most difficult part. See, I, I had a little bit of a hard time figuring it out. So then, right, so you're placing the stairs in, but you want to bring them one out from the structure. So you place a block behind it, then you place a stair on top, then you delete the block. Make sure you delete the block, because we're going to add stairs under each of these. So you want to bring up the stairs nine. I think you want to go up with stairs nine times, and I really just make sure I do it the same amount of times on each side like this. I just went up six with that one, so that's three, four, five, and then six. Then once you do that, you just start. You just keep going. Until you want it to, until you try, you're able to get it to meet up. So I just went up about by two. That's eight. So I will need one more after that. So there we go. Seven, eight, and then you'll get the ninth rock block right here. So there we go. So that creates kind of the triangular shape for this build so right here there you go then you just create the little stairs underneath it just to add some detail to this there we go it's starting to come together so then you want to stack you want to stack these blocks but you don't want to stack them in front of the stairs that are the roof like I'm doing because you don't want them to be visible from like from the outsides of the roof. You want the roof to be bigger than this, like that. So then you come up like that, two blocks, and then you're done. Now you're gonna want to bring out the roof, like I'm doing, like this. Okay. You want to do that the whole way over, and I will be back once I have this whole entire roof. Okay, I'm back, and you see I'm, I laid in the last few pieces of the roof. And now I'm just going to fill in the back with blocks, making sure you can't see into, this, into the house. And we're about to start adding in all of the detail for this build. Like to the windows. And that's pretty much the only type of detail we gotta add in the windows detail. 
So then, right here on the back, you know, add in the under the stairs that go downward, right under these blocks, like like so. Okay. So then, that is the back. The back's kind of plain, I know. But so right here. Now. What am I getting at? Oh, yeah, you need the black concrete now. I forgot about that. Oh, and I'm getting the doors out. So, black concrete and the doors. So, first, you put the black concrete in. It might be harder with the half subs there. You put it in so you can't see all the sand under the house. That makes it look like the under house real dark. So, it makes it look a little bit more scary. Let me, I want to try. I want to see if this looks good. Having them inward. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm gonna have them like flat to the everything. So there we go. Now I'm gonna place the window in, and the window is let me see. One, two, three blocks up from the from the doors, and they're the same kind of same as doors. So now you add stairs around it. And half size around the windows. Add them, make sure they're in mismatch. They're mismatched a little bit. Makes them look a little bit better. And then you do the same thing down here. Sorry, I'm yawning so much. It's just real early. And I'm trying not to yawn, but. So, sorry. So, I started adding a little bit extra, like, have them poking out a little bit. Because that, that always does add a little bit more detail. Makes it look better from afar. Like that. There we go. So, then you do, we got to do that same thing with this last window. Like that. You don't need to copy my exact design with the stairs and the windows because you can do whatever you want to do really with that. That's just a suggestion kind of showing you how you can do it. <laughs> okay. So now you want to build a little shed that's right beside his house. So, okay, I stacked up three, but I tear that down. You want to have three spaces in between this. And then you want to have four spaces in between these. Okay, so like that. So then you just want to stack stairs on top of these both. Like this. And then I did like under stairs like that. But I delete these later, so you don't have to do that. It does make it did make it easier to stack these blocks on top though. So then you can do like that, and then I put half slabs like that, make it even. But then I didn't like the feel of the little stairs, so I tore them out. There we go. So I think that'll wrap up this video, and. Yeah, for, sorry, I forgot to add those. No, you don't add half size on the back. So that'll wrap up this video. This has been Try Again in its tutorial. If you like the video, then please leave a like. It helps out the channel. If you really like it, please subscribe because I will have some more transformation videos coming at you. And this has been Try Again in its tutorial. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.